Hey everyone, this is going to be a pretty straightforward video showcasing a very simple SAML setup between JumpCloud and Datadog. We will go over how to configure and set up the integration as well as map some roles so you have control over user access within the Datadog application. This is part of my SAML SSO series where I configure different types of applications to be used with JumpCloud's SSO connectors. I've already set this up once before um, and I rolled back as much as I possibly can. <clears throat> so you're gonna see some residual leftover for things, but um, hopefully it's it's minimal. And of course I'll walk you through everything that we um, need to go through. So <clears throat> bear with me um, with this video, we do have to kind of bounce back and forth between a few screens um, just to kind of get the data that we're looking for, but it's a pretty straightforward integration and we're gonna have some fun with some group attributes and role mapping here within uh, JumpCloud and then connecting it to Datadog. So first and foremost, what we need to do <clears throat> is we need to look at the, the documentation for JumpCloud and with Datadog. <clears throat> so here's the documentation right here, links in the description. Um, this will allow you to basically uh, just step by step on how to get this done. You can follow this documentation and you're good to go. If you don't want to follow documentation and you just kind of want to watch what I do, then watch what I do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Datadog and we're going to go into our login methods. So I hit control K on the panel and I go to login methods. Um, right now it is currently on. Um, you'll have to enable it. So flipping from on or off and then enable it. And in here, you're not going to have this sign in URL. You're going to have, um, it's going to say upload metadata. We're going to do that actually here in a second. So um, that's the first step is to get the metadata for Jump Cloud. So we're going to pop back over into the Jump Cloud admin panel and we're going to open up our application and we're going to configure for Datadog. And we're just going to type in a name. Doesn't have to be anything super fancy, just the display name. And then SSO. This is where the magic happens. Now, honestly, from here, I'm just gonna hit save and I'll show you why here in a minute because all we need from Datadog are these two fields right here, okay? Um, you can name this IDP URL something unique if you wish, um, like if you have this a certain name that you wanna name it, um, and then we'll come down, we'll come back and configure the group attributes. But for me, for right now, I'm just gonna hit activate and it's going to activate the application. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to download the metadata, right? And I have obviously done this a few times, so you see my downloads, but we're gonna use this this two here, okay? So we're gonna hop back over into Datadog and you're gonna use, you'll see this button, choose file. And so we're gonna grab that, doc, that XML file and hit open. And then you hit save. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna generate your sign in your sign in URL. Okay. So we're going to take that. We're going to copy link address and we're going to pop back over into the admin panel for the SSO configuration. And we're going to throw that right into our login URL. Um, and then we're going to pop back over here and make sure that this is the same. And it looks like it is, but for kicks and giggles, we're just going to throw it in there without white space. Cause that'd be terrible. And now we're good. Okay, so now the last thing we have to do is we have to um, assign this application access to our users. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to give our DevOps users access to this and hit save. Popping over into our DevOps group, we're going to look to see who's a member of this group. Make sure that we have, so we have Angela Brown, Angel Sheldon, and Kendra Smart. Looking over here in our users, we have Angel Sheldon and Kendra Smart are already users, um, but Angela Brown is not a current user um, in Datadog. So we're going to make sure that when she logs in for the first time, an account is created. So popping back over here into login methods, we can look at our just in time provisioning. So the domains that are just for time, this is a security setting that allows you to define a domain that will be recognized by Datadog when a SAML assertion comes across. Um, to then create a user. Well, so we're using csjumpcloud.com here. Um, obviously your, do your, your domain is gonna be whatever it is as your email address for your domain. You would just throw that in here and you'd hit add a domain. Okay, so now that we have Angela Brown, we're gonna go ahead and log in as Angela Brown or Angela Sh Angel Sheldon, right? So we're logged in, we're gonna log in as Angel Sheldon who's already a user and we're just gonna see that flow, right? So Angel Sheldon's already logged in. We're gonna hit Datadog and we are now 
in. We're logged in. And you can see we're logged in down here. Angel Sheldon at jumpcloud.com. And she has read only access. So she can still go, she can go into users, right? Um, and she can see that you don't have any way to edit. So she just has read only. She can see the roles of everyone else. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and now let's go into um, an account that we don't have um, access into already. And so looking at our users, we know that Angela Brown does not have access. Okay, we're going to log in as Angela Brown here. And we're going to sign in. Okay, now that we're logged in as Angela Brown, we are going to log in with Datadog. We have an application, we have access to it, and we are logged in. You see down here, we are logged in as Angela Brown. If I pop back over into the admin panel over here for Datadog and I refresh the screen, we will see that Angela Brown has been provisioned as well as read only access. Now that role is coming from, if I look under login methods here and go to update, that role is coming from the default role that is happening here. Now this might not be good for you. You might not wanna have everyone just come in as read only. So we're gonna configure that. So we're gonna go ahead and go into SAML group mappings. And again, I'm hitting control K and Datadog to do that. And we're gonna create some mappings. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new mapping. And we're gonna call the key, you can name this whatever you want. So we're gonna say Datadog role and we're going to say value is DevOps. Okay, and we're gonna assign a role as admin. Save and create another. We're gonna create one, we're gonna say DD role, and we're gonna call this, let's just say um, accounting, uh, let's call it um, all employees, sure, why not? And we're gonna say read only. Okay, so now we have two groups here, or two roles being mapped. Um, and now we have to do is we're going to pass in an attribute key called DD role, and then we're gonna send in the group attribute within jump cloud. So here we go, let's set that up. So over here in the SSO configuration, the first thing we have to do is come over here to Datadog uh, integration, go to SSO and scroll down here to the bottom and include group attribute. And it will be called that DD role, All right? So this is saying the value of DD role is going to be assigned I'm sorry, the key DD role is going to receive the value of whatever group the user is assigned to when they log in with this application, okay? So if we looked at, um, for instance, um, who are we signed in as over here? We're signed in as um, Angela Brown, okay? So if I were to log out here and I go back into Angela Brown, what we can see is we have her assigned to the DevOps group. And if you remember, the DevOps group was uh, admin, right? But over here, Angela Brown came in as read only. So now that we have the group mapping set up, let's go ahead and do a, a quick refresh just because kicks and giggles. And now we're gonna sign in. So now we're signed in. And if I pop back over into our admin panel with Datadog and refresh. Did I not turn it on? You have to enable mappings. So let's try that again. My fault. Okay, so now if I log back in, what will happen is she will now be signed in but you have yourself a nice little admin role at this point. If you're a member of multiple groups that are mapped, so say for instance, Kendra Smart over here, she has admin role as well as read only. So you remember we did this group mapping here, where we put all employees, right? So say for instance, we go back in here and we give Angela Brown access to all employees, right? Um, but then what we want to do is we want to make sure that all employees has access to the Datadog application. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna refresh just to make sure that we have it. And of course, now we got more applications because we assigned the user to, to a different user group. And we're gonna click on Datadog. She is still signed in like she was before, but now when I refresh this page over here over on users, she now has two roles. So what happens with Datadog is every time the authentication comes in, all of the roles are removed from the user and then the roles that are um, that match a group are, are added to here. And this is actually pretty cool because say for instance, we added another group and we're gonna call it Denver sales, right? Um, and so we're gonna go into, uh, it was Angela Brown, yeah, Angela Brown that we're working with. You'd, you'd think that if I had enough coffee, I'd figure this out by now, but nope. And we're gonna remove her from all employees and from DevOps, but then put her into Denver sales. Okay, so what you're gonna what you're gonna see here is that even though I refresh the screen here and I have Datadog application, when I log in, it's going to give me an error message and it's gonna say there are no mapped roles for this user. Looking back over here in Datadog, if I refresh the screen, all of the roles have been removed from her because she tried to make a SAML authentication request that and when Datadog receives that, it removes all the roles from that user and then reapplies whatever the roles are from the SAML group mappings. Um, in this case, there were no group mappings, so she doesn't have any access to that particular uh, or any 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 roles for Datadog. So um, that essentially just removed all of her roles from, from Datadog at that moment in time. Um, if, if you add her back in to the user group of DevOps. Now, this is me curious. I haven't tested this one when you have one group that is and one group that isn't. Let's see. And okay, so we're signed in. Um, but as you would probably imagine, we only got the role that was mapped, which was the admin role. So um, I hope that helps. I hope that gets you started in the right direction. It's a pretty easy setup, pretty easy integration. Sorry for the back and forth with the screen. Um, going back and forth, but uh, that was really kind of the only way to to get this done in, a, in an efficient way. Um, but essentially, all you have to do to get this going is start with the SSO application, create a data dog, create your metadata, your metadata. Once you have that, upload it into Datadog. That will create your login URL, and then you are done. And then you can create your group mappings and then you can create your SAML group mappings within Datadog to match to your key attributes and your key value or your attribute values. So that way you can have dynamic um, roles assigned. And this also even works for um, custom roles. I don't have any custom roles, but if I was to enable custom roles, um, I would assign the role name to that and therefore each group that was assigned uh, would have their own role. Just keep in mind though, that obviously if they're a member of multiple groups, within Jump Cloud, they're going to receive all of the roles that are associated with your group mappings. So just be careful that you don't misconfigure. This is actually how an IAM misconfiguration could happen and potentially cause a problem. If you have a user in multiple groups and those groups are mapped to different access that you didn't audit or didn't true up over a period of time. So just make sure that you're double checking that so you don't have a misconfiguration down the line. So. Well, I'm Ben Garrison, technical champion at Jump Cloud. I hope that that was um, helpful. I hope they got you going in the right direction, especially with Datadog integration. We're going to have more SSO um, type videos um, to help you get integrated and moving forward. So again, thank you very much. Have a great day. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.